How's it going everyone? I'm retired here and today I will be doing a first aid crafting video guide. Now the crafting video guide will be separated into multiple multiple videos, excuse me. So multiple videos. Um, first video today will I'll show you the mats that you need for your crafting. So this will be mostly all of the uh, materials that you will need that you either buy, make work orders from, that you farm yourself, or if you get help from your nation to actually um, that's supporting you and give you those mats, right, or trade. And on that matter, I'd like to say thank you for uh, the mats, guys. Um, you know who you are, but it is from Nomads. Nomads is my nation on the West Coast North American server. So a big shout out to you guys. Uh, thanks a lot. I wouldn't be able to make these videos without you guys um, or not sooner than I thought, uh, honestly. So a big shout out to you guys. Thanks again. And um, if you are on the West Coast server and are interested in joining Nomads, uh, give us a shout. We'll be more than glad to uh, see what you got and see if you can come into our uh, big, big nation. All right, so let's get starting. I'll show you the mats that you need, and afterwards I will do bandages for first aid. So we're gonna start off from that, and afterwards we're gonna go uh, bit by bit because it is a huge amount of information to take in, uh, and I can't give you all of that information in one video. Um, most of you guys won't have a big uh, attention span, so I rather that you take your time, get what you need. Then look at the other video and see what you need. Do the crafting. Familiarize yourself uh, with the areas to where you can cr um, farm all the materials. And, um, you know, soon enough you'll be a little guru master just like me. All right, so let's get it on here. Uh, I will show you uh, most of the mats that I do have. And I'll tell you what's... Um, what you really need and what you don't really need. So I, what the way I've made the the way I'm doing the video is just um, give you the most efficient way to craft what you need. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go into the crafting here. Uh, there's one little piece of information that I should uh, suggest is that you get a learning stem. You can get learning stems at the medical center, learning stem one. Or uh, later on, if you were able to craft them, you can then go up to learning stem two. I have the number two. You get that, it lasts uh, 30 minutes. Well worth uh, the time crafting goes if you're a huge crafter. Okay, that's out of the way. So you will need any kind of fish. Any kind of fish, because some recipes will ask you for any kind of fish, but there are three specific ones that you do need. You need the electrophorus, salty porphyra, and spearfish. Um, the salty porphyria is more of a sea plant. Uh, I always call it a fish for some reason, but it's a sea plant. But you need this. It's part of the fishing uh, crafting, anyways. All right. So I need these three. I have a whole bunch of other fish: crystal fish, uh, mixini, cod. I have panopia, uh, tilapine, a coin. Okay. Uh, you're probably wondering what this looks like, but okay. <laughs> So anyways, you'll need that. You'll need contaminated water, which is right here. You will need standard power distrib uh, distributors. Now, those are farmed from either robots or human NPCs in the world. So go farm away, kill away, get those power distributors, okay? You can't craft them. Now, for uh, plants, other plants, you will need bina berries and hawkweed. Um, I give you both so you can have... Um, you can... You, you only need really one, uh, but I am asking you to get both so you can familiarize yourself uh, with m more into chemist chemistry and to foraging. More on that on the future uh, videos for first aid. You will need gypsum cluster, cr uh, green okite cluster, barite, chromite, rhyolite. This one's a bit harder to farm, so make sure you keep those if you have them already. Uh, lepidolite. Sphalerite, copper ore, calibrite ore, pallad pallad palladium ore, sorry, <laughs> silver ore, gold ore, iron ore, anthracite, or something like anthracite. Uh, no, you guys were bothering me with that before, eh? Yeah. Uh, pyrolocyte, uh, bastnasite, variscaronite, and borax cluster. 
uh, you'll need a variety of wood. Uh, now, you can have any wood, so you can uh, make firewood, which will be a, a heat your main heat source for all, for a lot of the recipes in game. So get any kind of wood; it doesn't really matter. Uh, I when, while I was, while I was farming a specific wood, I got resa wood. It doesn't have to be that; it can be any kind of wood. Okay, uh, you'll absolutely need Morgan wood, Hudson fir wood, and create wood. Now, when you farm create wood, you will receive create fungi okay at the same it's not always gonna drop it's not always gonna be uh, farmable when you uh, get create so it's I would say when I farm it it's about one out of five chances to get uh, to actually get it you will need a variety of tissue samples uh, you will need vulture tissue Elkar Drake uh, Skyid Echo Tissif my goodness like these names are killing me uh, ligma, ligma tissue. Uh, also, there is a crafting recipe where it's called tissue sample. You need the Arocaris, uh, Fogia, Bakura, and Okalot. Now, tissue samples. Uh, these tissue, uh, these tissues from monsters and stuff like that are easily bought on the auction house. So, I would just do that. Don't even like. Don't even waste your time farming it. Just buy it. Uh, even a lot of your nation mates will be able to give it to you because they're you're just killing stuff at the same time as farming okay now let us get to our bandages so let us look at what we what professions do we need to do for uh, first aid and bandages so I will just open our first aid tab here we'll need um, chemistry okay so we'll open that uh, obviously we'll need first aid for later We'll need foraging. And um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, we'll need fishing. So, fishing, foraging, chemistry. Uh, we will need lo logging and tailoring, right? Uh, if I forgot something, obviously I'll just show it to you, uh, but it doesn't really matter. So, the first thing that you really need to get is. Uh, a heat source and distilled water so these two right here uh, so to get firewood you can use any kind of wood so like I said I got resa wood and so let's go into logging and I got this is hardwood so you go into your hardwood lumber because it'll put it will produce hard uh, planks but it'll produce firewood at the same time let's go here and you only contaminate the water and your any wood so I took Rezo so you can do uh, one process like this bam and I cannot fit that's unbelievable let's just get rid of something let's get rid of this crap it's not even worth it it's not even worth keeping okay so we can just make one uh, now I have to take it out again so you can just process it like this like once or for higher grades two three bam Okay, and you can get you'll get firewood, and you're using your contaminated water. Okay, so we have our firewood. Now we'll need distilled water, which is from contaminated water. So we go into chemistry, to distilled water, double click, and it'll put your contaminated water, your fire source, which is your firewood. So you have to be careful because sometimes you'll have more than one heat source in your inventory, and you'll be you'll use it by mistake, unfortunately. So just take a look at what you're actually double clicking on. So that's why I went into my inventory. So you can process once. It'll give you 10. Or you can process three times to get a better grade. So we'll just process again. And that'll give me a stack of 10 of C6. As you can see at the bottom right, you can see the stack sizes. Okay. So we have some distilled water and we have our firewood. So what should we do next? Now let us go into our uh, logging again this is where your Hudson fir wood will come in very handy uh, you will it will create the Hudson moss for your tailoring okay because tailor we're gonna be using um, in our bandages here we'll need a cloth and we'll need an antibiotic okay so let's go for the cloth first so what do we need here we need a uh, textile fiber. So Hudson Fairwood is 
the easiest to do. So just get that wood. We'll need a base. Uh, in this case, I took potassium bioxalate. I'll show you how to make that. Can't stop me now. And you have a sterilizing, sterilizing agent, which you can get from the vendor. Not a, not very hard to do. Okay, so let's go back to our logging. So if you want to do the Hudson fur, uh, you'll need to go into uh, Hudson fur is um, I always forget here. It's softwood. So destructive, this uh, destructive distillation softwood. So we'll put our Hudson Fur, it's the only one that we have. We'll put our firewood and distilled water. And as you can see, it'll give you a primary result and the secondary result. It will give you glue, which can be used uh, further off uh, for something else. So we'll just, uh, we'll make a couple here, okay? My goodness. Let's, uh, let's put the tissues in the bank. Give me a second. Sorry about that. So let's go back to logging. Softwood. So we'll just finish that. So if we want higher grade, as I've mentioned, we'll go here. Let's make about 10 uh, until you get about 10 Hudson, uh, Hudson, Hudson Moss. Hudson Moss. And we have some glue here. Perfect. So we've, we have our uh, Hudson Moss. So what else do we need? For our cloth so we need a potassium bioxalate okay so what do I need for potassium bioxalate so you will need fishing uh, for sorry uh, foraging I knew I had forgotten something so it's foraging and you will do chemical extraction and I did mention you need either hawkweed or bean berries let's uh, let's take hawkweed and we will need distilled water you will get there are three results you will get potassium bioxalate Hawk sap, which can be used for some other recipes, and you will also get cellulose. Now, I want you to make a bunch of this because you will need cellulose as a flux for a lot of recipes. So you do it once, do it twice, and you'll get it. So let's do it. Let's do it twice, and and we'll get we'll get a bunch of cellulose. Now I do have a lot of cellul cellulose, and I do have a lot of potassium bioxalate, so it's not going to be a problem. It's going to throw this junk. Okay, so let's just uh, see how it just doesn't finish. Yes, finish. Thank you. <laughs> like that. And we'll always want to make a lot of those. Um, and as you can see, it's taking my uh, three agents all the time. Perfect. So we're we have quite a bit of a cellulose right now. Okay. So we have that. Uh, we have our sterilizing sterilization agent. So let's go back to our textile. Okay. So we will um, do this. Take the Hudson moss. Take our potassium bioxalate, and take our um, sterilization agent. What we'll do? We'll do. I will grow stronger. We'll do it three everyone. times. And as you can see, we got a result at F5. Let's use all of that. Okay. Can't stop me now. I will grow stronger to protect everyone. Okay, so our progress is maxed. It doesn't really matter. We just want to continue doing it anyways. Let's do it until we have no more of the mats. Can't stop me now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so perfect. We don't have any more of those of the Hudson Moss. Not a big deal. We can always make more. Okay, so now we want to make the Myxococcus xanthus. So how are we gonna do that? Let's go into fishing. Way of fishing, right here. And once we're in fishing, we'll do pharmaceutical fishing extraction. So what do we need exactly? You will need any heat source, which is my firewood. 
and you will need a sphere fish. So this sphere fish is right here. And as you can see, it gives you the result of Maxococcus xanthus. So it, as you can see, it's not very complicated, okay? So let's do uh, three times. We'll, we'll uh, get us some good, some good stuff. I'd rather do it the, uh, the process like this. Um, I don't know, it's more hands-on and you get more familiar to what kind of grade that you can make um, with the result. So there's not that much left. I will grow stronger to protect everyone. Don't really need sphere fish for anything else except for this right here. Perfect. We're almost done. Only five more. And then we'll be able to do our first aid. Bandages. Bam, we're done with that. So let's just uh, compress our stuff here so we can have some bit more space. So now we have our Hudson fabric and we have our Maxococcus xanthus. So let's go to first aid, bandage production. Bam, put one of those and we get our bandages. And what's great about the bandages is, is that no matter what the quality of it is, it'll still uh, heal you for the same amount. So it doesn't really matter if you process once, twice, or three times, except if you want to scale up faster. So let's do uh, three times. We have 10, 10 of those. And when it asks you to, uh, kind of missed that there. We can add uh, something else for the grade. But Can't like I said, you can put that here, process more. See, it didn't really do much. I will grow stronger to protect everyone. And that's it. See, so we used all of our all of our fabric. We boosted our bandage production. We've boosted our logging, our fishing, our foraging, um, our tailoring, our chemistry. So you're using a lot of uh, other professions just for one <laughs> measly bandage but that's what bandages are so that's it for today guys uh next video we'll uh be doing it this way i will be cutting uh the rest of the videos into um several parts so into four parts because we have to make uh dope nanites yeah that sounds funny i know we need to make bio alloy containment fittings we also need to make ionized solutions and power infusers. I'm not gonna, really going to worry about bonding agents and sealing agents because those are the easiest. So how are we going to do it? So next video we'll be doing um, either one of these four and at the fourth, uh, fifth video which will be the end of our uh, crafting series uh, for first aid, we'll actually be able to make our main products for medical charge fitting productions. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope it wasn't too much information. I know it's a long video, uh, but take your time and understand what you need and how to do it. I know I'm a bit everywhere in the video, but uh, it is an enormous task um, to show this to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it um, and continue watching. Stay tuned for the uh, second video, and I'll see you in the next video.